Smoking's not all that bad, you know, especially when it comes to food. And although it's been used as a way of preserving food since the days of the Iron Age, today it's still a very popular way of preparing fish and game. Now, I'm a keen game fisherman and I love smoked fish. So, you can imagine just how pleased I am to be here at the Rid Lewis Trout Farm and Smokery in West Wales. Brian, for many people this is a dream come true to have your own trout lake and a smokery. How did it all happen for you? Well, I quite agree. Actually, we was looking around for a property. I had a building business in London, basically based in Kent, and just got fed up with the driving, the traffic and everything else. Wanted to get out into the country. We started looking at brochures that advertised property like this with a bit of land. Visited a few of them, basically in Wales, but at the end of the day we drew up here, parked outside there, and that was it. I just said, I'll have it there and then. And were you always keen on having a, a smokery though? I mean, from being a builder to a smoker is something quite different, isn't it? The smokery side was a worry to start with, obviously, because it was something very alien. But the, I was into fishing, so that was a, a, a big interest. I'd love to have a bit of a taste. Um, Would you like to try Well, let's, let's start with the trout, because obviously that's your that's, own home that's, trout. That's, home, that's right. That's all from the premises. And the, the trout isn't as pinky mm. in colour as, as a salmon. Some uh, people's are, but these are not, no. Right. Is that big just because of the, the nature of the trout and the yeah. water they, they're and, brought up in? And the food that you feed them on. Mm. Mm. Well, I, I love smoked fish, and mm, this is lovely. It's nice and tender. It's not at all rubbery or tough. And uh, everything does rely on the way you smoke it, because you can get some smoked fish which can be poorly smoked, and probably by modern methods isn't as good as the traditional methods you use. And you can really taste the oak and the, and the smoke in that. It is traditional, and it's a long time. It takes, you know, it's very time consuming. Mm. How long would it take to do one of these? I would say the fish depends on the size, but it's in the smoke for approximately two and a half to three days. Is it really? Mmm, that really is lovely. Now, time for the salmon. There you go. Salmon, totally different type of flavour altogether. Yeah, and also, of course, the colour is very different too. Noticeably, yes, and it, the oil content is different as well. It's an oilier fish naturally, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, it always is. And you can see, that, of course, fish oil is really good for you too, isn't it? So it is. it's something which <laughs> shouldn't put anyone off. So here we go, let's try mm, some lovely smoked salmon. This is from Scotland, as you say, but smoked specially in your own traditional way. It's a very different flavour, isn't it? Totally different, yes. Yeah. It's very dis difficult to describe how different, but um, clearly the dryness of the trout compared to the oiliness of the salmon is definitely one distinction. And it's very, very nice. I mean, you've had a lot of compliments with this, haven't you? I mean, Lately, it has, yes, it's going very well. And uh, in fact, the, sa the trout is taking off and we're selling more of the trout now, really, than what we ever have done. Brian, you got the food, I've got the net. What's the plan? I'll throw some pellets in. See if the fish rise for them. If the water boils, put the net in deep, quickly, and bring it up sharply. So it's like a scoop in and up, not don't pause at all. That's right, all in one all right. movement. Okay. All right, well, I'm <coughs> ready. There's you some ready? Big fish in here too, yeah, okay. They might boil, they might not, so all let's right, see what happens. Go. Now. Oh, look at that. Yes, first scoop. Oh. There you are, got your dinner. <laughs> God, these are quite heavy. How many have we got in there? Tip them in there. Lovely, look at that. Some beautiful rainbow trout. And that's the way you catch them, is it? That's the way you catch them quickly. Normally yeah. you would use a drag net, then a hand net. And what sort of size are these? They look about, what, two There's, and a half pounds, two pounds? A pound and three quarter to two and a half pound oh, there, that big one. Lovely fish. Two and a half, that's about three pound. Well, Brian, now it's on to salmon. That's and right. uh, we've got a wonderful salmon here. Oh, how much is that, do you reckon, in weight? We buy these in at four to five kilos, this batch. And they come in, as they call it, super gutted. As you can see, it's already gutted. Yeah. You've got the head and the towel on. So what are we going to do with this, then? First of all, we're going to take the head off. Then we fillet it off the spine, so you end up with two sides. Put the knife through the gills. Oh, can you step back a little bit? Yes, I think. I, see I think presenters gonna... are very rare nowadays, aren't they? <laughs> Bring the We're knife around. You know. Right, oh, there and we go. the head off. Head in the bucket. Bit more salt. Is it quite a delicate operation to do this filleting? Because I mean, you're, you're obviously not wanting to cut into the bone and get any bone into the meat, are you? That's perfectly correct. The point is, all you're trying to do really is leave as much meat on the side of the fish 
and take as much meat off the spine as you exactly. can. Exactly, yeah. Right, so you're starting at the base of the spine there. Try and follow the I fish can. down and go through the centre of the back of the fish in the centre of the, spot of the fins. Okay. And you've cut below the dorsal fin there, I notice, not above it. Well, hopefully right through it. Oh, I see. Work your way down to the towel yeah. and off. Okay. Turn it over gently so that you don't tear the fish. A little bit of clean, <coughs> cleaning up. Yep. Look at the colour of that. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? It's lovely and pink. There you go. There's one side ready for salting and then into the smoker. And here we are at the heart of the business. This is one of the smokers, Brian. That's right, it's yeah. full of cheeses at the moment. It's uh, Tyvee's and Natty Buddha's cheeses. Lovely. Now, um, we smoke. does the same process, smoking process, apply to fish as well as cheese? Yeah, absolutely, it's, except for the salting aspect, but the, these take a lot longer than what the fish do. Yeah, how long does a fish on average take? Approximately two and a half to three days. And the cheese? <laughs> to get a good colour on these would be four days, maybe five. God. And this is cold smoking? This is cold oh, smoking. That. It's getting up my throat. Um, what do you mean by cold smoking? <laughs> <laughs> cold smoking, there's, there's no actual flame, no heat. It's just an ember in the bottom that's glowing all the time. Yeah. So you've got to keep the temperature low. Hot smoking, you would have it hotter. Right. But the idea of it is to keep it calm and keep the heat down. And of course, you're burning constantly oak uh, sawdust. Is that what it that's is? That's what it is. It's, that's all the fuel is, is oak sawdust. And, and that's the important aspect, of course. It's the whole crunch of the matter, yeah. yeah. It's a, that's a very important ingredient. Well, I can just about see you over there. Are you still there? Yeah, Talk I've, to I've, me. I've really enjoyed this. It's a fascinating place to visit. So if you're here, then uh, do pay this uh, trout farm and smokery a visit. It really is fascinating. And of course, the fish is absolutely delicious. Now, um, I'm a fisherman. Any chance of uh, having a crack on that lake again and see if we can get some big fish? You and I will have a competition. All right, good. Don't forget the net. <laughs> <laughs>